I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure Leon is better in the original game than he actually is in the remake for some reason. Like they made him more kind of... Well, they made him less competent. I feel like to make him more like, you know, a, an everyman kind of character. You know, just he's a rookie cop, but then you have the ex explanation of how come Claire is so badass considering she's a civilian. Until you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? Yeah, well, someone's got to get word to the authorities. We need reinforcements to save this city. out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. So if I'm not mistaken, this is new. Um, so recently they put out an update. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a tie-in to Resident Evil 3 Remake, because this is from Chill, you even get an achievement for it. Um, so that's neat. Also, the reason I wasn't talking this whole time was I thought there was more dialogue in this segment. I think I'm used to the fan dub, to be honest, and I thought there was it's a lot more dialogue than there actually is in that scene, if I'm being totally honest. Um, did we clean it up? We did. Cool. So now we have a cutscene, I'm pretty sure. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move! I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Dad? did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna... You're to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. You know, it 
It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here, and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the Force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. I was also going to add the fact that, um... Kendo is actually a very minor character in the original RE2. He only appears very briefly at the beginning. They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. So yeah, it's kind of interesting that they... It, it probably was. The acting in the original Resident Evil was pretty that's why I'm universally bad. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. Not as bad as Resident Evil 1, mind you, but not... Like, that's an accomplishment, really. Um... For example, you cut through the, um gun shop at the very beginning and that's about it and then he gets killed by monsters so zombies so based on what you've said the sewer seems fitting well said after you so yeah it's kind of interesting having a sort of upgraded role i think he also might appear in re3 remake because yeah, that's said a day before and hence here. chill sending him a letter uh but i i don't i don't know obviously i haven't played it Come on. I've only seen mostly the ending, oddly enough. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled weapon is for years. Where the heck is this item? I'm over here, like, trying to listen to this conversation, but I'm also like... Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. There it is. That's not an earthquake, that's something else. Spoilers. That thing. What the hell? It's kind of interesting that this character, if you want to call it a character, has been kind of downgraded. Uh, it used to be in both routes, and now it's only in uh, Leon's route. So that's a little bit different. I'm not sure how to feel about it. Um, it's gonna take up two slots now, dang it. Um, I mean, it's good. It's a good upgrade, but now it takes some more room, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um. I hope I saved in the right slot and didn't save over, like, an important thing. <laughs> okay, good. We're fine. This looks ominous. <laughs> Long tunnel that cannot possibly have anything horrible. Um, I will say one criticism I have of this game is... I feel like the lighting is kind of inconsistent. Like, and this is something I've heard other people say too, so I'm not the only one at least. That the lighting is kind of all over the place. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's uh, not so good. Um, like, it's a really good looking game, but um, the lighting is kind of inconsistent in its like, uh, levels. It's not too late to turn back, no chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. So 
so I'm a little mixed on this segment too because it's really easy. Maybe it's Holy different shit. on hardcore, but like on on the standard, it's like so telegraphed. It's not that difficult to dodge. I say as I'm gonna die here because I didn't scooch out of the way fast enough. So yeah, that that's hubris. When was the last auto save? It was only a minute after. Cool. I thought I had more time to veer left than I actually did, so that was on me. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not that hard. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and I wish it was a little more challenging. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? I don't know why I'm watching this cutscene again. I should skip it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty telegraphed. Um, it almost feels like something more of like the more recent Resident Evil. It's like, you know, this game is generally a horror game, but this moment just feels, you know, like, you know, something you've seen like RE6 or 5 or one of those. Son of a bitch. Wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without one-liners, huh? Uh, if you had no ammo? That's a good question, actually. I don't have an answer to that. Thanks for almost dropping the ladder on my head. Pretty sure we're gonna get into a long cutscene. People into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. But yeah, I, I don't know what would happen if you had no ammo for that. I was like, are you gonna push the elevator button, or do I have to? So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Maybe we don't get the cutscene right away, because this looks like a save room. I say this now. Yep, we definitely have a save room. So, let's save. Again, I'm worried I'll accidentally overwrite an actual save, and not like a stream playthrough save. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of a net. Not on her, it must be in the nest.
Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. So since we chose the alternate costume, we have a bit of a, uh, bit of a plot hole. <laughs> that plot hole being, where, where did they, where did the, the trench coat come from? <laughs> where, where'd Leon go, Act Oh, there he is. It's like, well, yeah, where'd the trench coat come from? <laughs> um, since we didn't have the trench coat in this alt, so, oops. So now we get to play as Ada for a little bit. Um... Also, that's something else I want to point out. Um, costumes. So, like, um, you know, in the injured costume, it's like the bandages are like under his outfit, basically. In the classic version, the bandages are over his costume, which is actually how they do it in the original RE2. And I just find that a really weirdly cool detail that they actually kept the same weird wraparound bandage style from actual RE2. Also, there's an achievement for doing this without uh, firing a single shot. I don't know how you're supposed to do that, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be blunt, I'm not going for that achievement. If I get it, cool. If I don't get it, Oh well, not the end of the world. I can get it on my own time. Uh, did that do something? I'll just casually blow up a fan. That's not gonna cause any problems. Totally not. Alright, so we have a bunch of hacking puzzles. We have, um... Wait a minute, what's this? Okay, so so we have to activate this one. And this one's like a junction. And then then no, it's the other way. I had it right the first time. There we go. Also Mr. X still shows up in this segment, so uh yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this, because this is my second time doing this. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, I need a span. Neat. How do I get through here? I have to hack the thing while the zombie's chillin'. This is gonna be fun. I can't go back up the ladder. Um. Yeah, this is stressful. Just a bit. Well, that's what this junction is for. I got it. That makes sense. So it's this. And this zombie is really slow, so that's how handy. Um, okay, we made it. Just gonna... Whew. 